लेकर सास मुठ्ठी में झुका गए हिमालय में हाथ में थाम तिरंगा अमर कर गए जो लहू सींच कर फिर बना गए एक समृद्ध भारत उन वीर देश के जवानों को याद रखेंगे सल्यूटिंग इंडिया वे ईच वर्ड नो इन इट्स ट्रू कलर्स वे ईच डे इज ए सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ यूनिटी सिंथेसिस एंड हार्मोनी सल्यूटिंग द ब्रेव हार्ट हु मेक सुप्रीम सेक्रीफाइस इन सर्विस टू द नेशन A very pleasant morning to our honourable chief guest, Teacher Rishali Sheila, our principal, Sister Sheila Futardo, our superior, Reverend Sister Carolyn Menezes, all sisters, teachers, parents, and my dear friends. Today we have gathered here to celebrate our 73rd Republic Day. I, Sanjreya Ji, and I, Gayatri Pathare, wishing you all a very happy Republic Day. India is the largest democracy in the world. Unity in diversity is India's strength. Today is 73rd Republic Day of our country. When the country marks and celebrate the date on which the constitution came into effect. That is on 26 January 1950 and carried objectives like socialism, secularism, democracy, Republican character of Indian state justice liberty equality fraternity unity and integrity of nation and thus turned a nation into a newly formed republic de salami is tirange ko jisme teri shaan hai sar hamesha uncha rakhna jab tak dil mein jaan hai I kindly request our honorable chief guest a dear teacher Rushali Shela to kindly unfold the flag. Pride of our nation. Please welcome our dear teacher with a huge round of applause. को सलामी देंगे सलामी दो हाथ नीचे जन गण मन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जलधि तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे इंडिया इज माई कंट्री ऑल इंडियंस आर माई ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स आई लव माई कंट्री एंड आई एम प्राउड ऑफ इट्स रिच and varied heritage i shall always strive to be worthy of it i shall give my parents teachers and all elders respect and treat everyone with courtesy to my country and my people i pledge my devotion in their well-being and prosperity alone lies my happiness विजय विश्व तिरंगा प्यारा झंडा ऊंचा रहे हमारा सदा शक्ति सरसा ने बाना प्रेम सुधा बरसा ने बाना वीरों को हर्षा ने बाना मातृभूमि का तन मन सारा विजय विश्व तिरंगा प्यारा झंडा रहे हमारा शान 
Thank you dear teacher. Let us begin a beautiful program with prayer. Let the prayer be rooted in love. Let us all communicate with God and lift up our country towards God's blessing and grace. in harmony after shaking the tyranny of colonialism and gaining independence from the british imperial power the nation builders of independent india declared that india would now be a sovereign socialist secular and democratic republic this declaration was made on 26 january 1950 when the constitution of india came into force and india came to be known as a republic as our country celebrates the 62nd republic day it is a momentous occasion for us indians to celebrate the harmonious spirit which binds our nation in respect of its diversity in culture traditions religion languages customs etc let us then thank god for our country wherein we enjoy the freedom to be ourselves Let us pray that God may bless our lands, its leaders, and its people to work and live harmoniously to bring about the principles laid out in our Constitution. Fruits of freedom. We need to be messengers of peace. The white color symbolizes peace and glory. It has unfolded itself upon us. We need to hold it in our hearts. all over the land where all people dwell in liberty walking hand in hand lord we pray for a cold and peace peace all over the land where all people dwell in liberty walking hand in hand Banish fear and ignorance, hunger, thirst, and pain. Banish hate and poverty. Let no one live in vain. Let no one live in vain. Lord, we pray for a cold and peace, peace all over the land. Where all people dwell in liberty, walking hand in hand. Lord, we pray for a golden peace, peace all over the land. Where all people dwell in liberty, walking hand in hand. Keep us all forevermore. One in love and grace, wipe away all war and strife. Give freedom to each race. Give freedom to each race. Lord, we pray for cold and peace, peace all over the land, where all people dwell in liberty. Walking hand in hand, Lord, we pray for cold and peace, peace all over the land, where all people dwell in liberty. Walking hand in hand. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to Saint Matthew. Chapter twenty two, verse fifteen to twenty two. The Pharisees went off and made a plan to trap Jesus with questions. 
Then they sent to him some of their disciples and some members of Herod's party. Teacher, they said, we know that you tell the truth. You teach the truth about God's will for man. Without worrying about what people think, because you pay no attention to a man's status. Tell us then, what do you think? Is it against our law to pay taxes to the Roman Emperor or not? Jesus, however, was aware of their evil plan. And so he said, You hypocrites, why are you trying to trap me? Show me the coin for paying the tax. They brought him the coin and he asked them, Whose face and names are these? The emperors, they answered. So Jesus said to them, Well, then pay the emperor what belongs to the emperor and pay God what belongs to God. When they heard this, they were amazed, and they left him and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection. At the time of Jesus, Palestine was under the occupation of the Romans. The Jews found it hard to accept the Romans' domination over them. Yet, when Jesus was questioned on his stand of whether he was owed to pay taxes to the Romans, Jesus was very clear. Give to God what belongs to God and give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. So, we too ought to learn from this example of Jesus. We are called to actively participate in the issue related to our country's welfare. It is our moral responsibility to contribute and uphold the values of truth, justice, equality, brotherhood, peace, harmony in our country. Of ourselves, we will not be able to succeed in keeping our resolutions. So let us ask God to grant us the grace we need of our country. A country opens new avenues for us. It looks up to walk with hope and to live in peace. Green signifies hope. We are called to hope for, to work in hope for success. Calls me, Lord, bless our country and help us to be loyal citizens. Though we are all Indians, we still harbor distrust against our neighbors. Give us the openness to accept one another in trust and love. For this, we pray to the Lord our response. Lord, bless our country and help us to be loyal citizens. Casteism is a major cause plaguing our country down the ages. Lord, give us the grace to grow to respect one another as human beings and bring to the reality the principle of equality ensured in our constitution. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Our response, Lord, bless our country and help us to be loyal citizens. Our country is ridden with poverty and unemployment. Though the leaders draw up schemes to help the poor, they don't reach the need. May these schemes benefit the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Bless our country and help us to be loyal citizens. That we may grow in our responsibility towards our land and work actively to stop the degradation of the environment in our own little way. Let us pray to the Lord. Our response, Lord, bless our country and help us to be loyal citizens. We as citizens of India with our constitution are empowered to work for total liberation. We are given the tools of power to the freedom of speech and expression through the right to information. We need to fill this power and exercise it well. The sacred color represents power and energy. Concluding our leader and our people. Help us to bring about religious freedom, equality, justice, truth, fraternity enshrined in the constitution. Motivate us to bring new India where human dignity, freedom and prosperity are enjoyed by all. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. to 
So it is. So now I would like to invite Miss Neva Gore and Miss Bharvi Payale to express their views on this Republic Day. Good morning, one and all. First of all, I would like to wish you a very happy Republic Day. It is an important day for all Indians. Today, when a few fellow Indians talk about losing their basic rights that are given by the Constitution. This day becomes more important. Ganatantra Divas is celebrated on 26 January every year. On this day, in the year 1950, the Constitution of India came into effect. Our Constitution gives us various rights and responsibilities too. We live in a democratic country where people enjoy their fundamental rights. In society, we have castes, religion or many other things that separate us. But on a broader picture, we all are Indians. India is a land which is a great example of unity in diversity. The beauty of our country is that we have a different language and we also have conflicts and differences. But on national festivals, we all stand as a united force. It is a day that makes us think beyond the caste, creed, religion, state, language and colour. And we all feel the same emotion of loving our country. When our constitution came into effect, we had some common issues and still today we are facing some issues like cleanliness, education, pollution, unemployment and many others. But to resolve them, government are launching some schemes like Swachha Bharat Abhiyan, Beti Bacha, Beti Pada, Skill India, Make in India and many more. But we cannot depend fully on the shoulders of our government. We need to do something for our country and we all must take a step to make a better and stronger nation. We should not forget the ideas which were mentioned in the Constitution of India, which are justice to everyone, equality, liberty, fraternity and sovereignty. We should not forget the ideas of our great leaders and need to implement them in our lives so that we can make our nation strong. To make India a free country, the great leaders and our freedom fighters like Mahatma Gandhi, Bhagat Singh, Chandrasekhar Azad, Lala Lajput Rai, Sardar Vallabhai Patel, Lal Bahadur Shastri, etc. fought continuously against the British. 
so we can never forget their dedication to our country we should salute them on such great occasions by remembering them it is only because of them that we can think with our minds and live freely in our nation without any pressure our first indian president was dr rajendra prasad who said under the jurisdiction of one union and one constitution we have got this entire vast land which has the population more than 320 crores men and women living here takes the responsibility for the welfare what a shame is to say that we are still facing crime corporation and violence in our country again everyone needs to be together to save the country from such slavery as it is holding back our country from going into its mainstream of progress and development we should go ahead and be aware of the social issues like poverty illiteracy unemployment inequality global warming etc and need to solve them dr apj abdul kalam said that if a country becomes corporation free and becomes a nation of beautiful mind i strongly feel that there are three prime members who can make a difference the father mother child and a guru so let's take a pledge today to maintain peace and harmony in our country and also remember the sacrifices of our great freedom fighters so we can value the freedom and which we have got from such big sacrifices before i conclude my speech i would like to say patriotism is just like charity it must begin at home jai hind and vande mataram that was really inspiring thank you yoga was originated in ancient india it is the best exercise to maintain good health so here are the girls presenting before you yoga What a beautiful posture, amazing performance. Dance is an art and an expression which cannot be said but can be expressed. So now hold your breath as our talented students are going to express their love and gratitude towards our nation by a dance performance. The people of India.
It was indeed an awesome and graceful performance. A poem is a piece of writing in which words are chosen from their beauty with feelings and ideas. So now I would like to call upon Miss Shweta Bera to express her feelings through poem. Jahan goli kha kar seene pe bhi Jahan goli kha kar seene pe bhi Har javan hasta hai Arre tum kaha ta kabza kar loge Ya har dil mein bharat basta hai Is maati mein hai janam liya Is maati mein mil jaunga Baat aai jo aan pe teri Pahen ke kha ki yud bhi ladne jaunga इस माटी में है जन्म लिया इस माटी में मिल जाऊंगा लहू से सींचू गा धरती में सरफरोश बन जाऊंगा लहू से सींचू गा धरती में सरफरोश बन जाऊंगा और देश प्रेम घोल दे सासों में मैं गीत वो जोश का गाऊंगा इस माटी में है जन्म लिया इस माटी में मिल जाऊंगा जहाँ औरत हो महफूज सभी जहाँ औरत हो महफूज सभी जहाँ रोटी की न हो कोई कमी मैं ऐसा भारत बनाऊंगा इस माटी में है जन्म लिया इस माटी में मिल जाऊंगा जहाँ जात पात ना मसला हो जहाँ जात पात ना मसला हो जहाँ उठा बात बात ना असला हो मैं अमन अब वैसा लाऊंगा इस माटी में है जन्म लिया इस माटी में मिल जाऊंगा धर्म एक जीवन सलीका हो और ब्रश ना काम का तरीका हो मैं ऐसा समाज बनाऊंगा इस माटी में है जन्म लिया इस माटी में मिल जाऊंगा और कह दो इन हुक्मरानों से और कह दो इन हुक्मरानों से चैन से जीने दे हमको अब कोई और ना फसाद करे सत्ता की आड़ में देश मेरा ना बर्बाद करे इसके उज्जवल भविष्य के खातिर जीवन अपना मौत की राह पे सजाऊंगा इस माटी में है जन्म लिया इस माटी में मिल जाऊंगा मातृभूमि की लाज के खातिर मातृभूमि की लाज के खातिर सर्वस्व अपना लुटाऊंगा और गर्व हो माँ को कोख पे अपनी गर्व हो माँ को कोख पे अपनी मैं ऐसा बेटा बन जाऊंगा इस माटी में है जन्म लिया इस माटी में मिल जाऊंगा धन्यवाद वाओ What a beautiful poem. So now let us move ahead. Teacher Vrushali is an inspiration for all of us. She does everything with energy and enthusiasm. We are very lucky to have her with us. So now I would like to call upon our dear teacher to speak few words of gratitude. Good morning 
Reverend Sister Superior, Respected Principal Sister Sheila, Sisters, Teachers and my dear friends. First of all, I would like to wish you a very happy Republic Day. It is an important day for all Indians. Although we celebrate Republic Day as a national festival since our childhood, but we understand the real importance of this day when we grow up. Our constitution gives us various rights and responsibilities. We live in a democratic country where people enjoy their fundamental rights. In society, we have different caste, religion and many other things that separate us. But on a broader picture, we all are Indians. India is a land which is a great example of unity in diversity. The beauty of our country is in different language and also have conflicts and differences. But on national festivals, we all stand as a united force. We must keep the ideas which are mentioned in the Constitution of India like justice, to everyone, equality, liberty, fraternity and sovereignty and we need to implement in our life so that we make our nation strong. It does not mean we have only Republic Day to remember the sacrifices of our great leaders. But every day we have to remember and salute them. But then how does our country grow from here? Yes, it is us, you, my friends, are going to play a crucial role in the progress of our country. You are the backbone of our country's future. So let's take a pledge that we will all maintain peace and harmony and remember our freedom fighters. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Thank you, dear teacher. A warm and cherished morning to our most valued honorable Sister Superior Caroline Menezes and our beloved principal Sister Sheila Patado. Management Committee, Teachers, Parents, My Dear Friends and Everyone. It is my privilege to propose a vote of thanks and acknowledge the contribution of those who worked hard to make this Republic Day celebration a grand success. Tricolor, National Flag of India, is something that the nation has owned. This flag is to be hosted on a free land only because of the sacrifices made by our freedom fighters. Let us stir up love and respect our country through one day Mataram. I request all to stand. Bande Mataram Bande Mataram Sujala
Let us be the change we want to see in India tomorrow. May this Indian tricolor always fly high. आनंद पुलकित होकर आंखों से प्रेम अश्रु बरसाए आपसी वैरभाव मिटाकर एक दूसरे को गले लगाए आओ मिलकर वंदे मातरम की गूंज के साथ हमारा राष्ट्रीय परिचायक तिरंगा लहराए जय हिंद जय भारत